So we pull up to the gas station. I see Quentin. What were you doing? I'm getting gas. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that gas. No, no jewel pods from the gas station? No. Quentin. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Ella, too. What are you buying? Oh, she bought some jewel pods? She's quitting smoking, so it's okay for her. I'm quitting jeweling just very slowly. Is this the video where I tell them that I actually vape? You don't have a better title. Well, we're just going to the gym, so I really don't. So, yeah, I guess that's what this video is going to be about. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna work out. Logie's here as well. He's gonna join us. And then I'll pick up the camera when I get home and explain. <laughs> My drug addiction! Ah! A new segment. The Real Brag Nerd. I was dropped as a kid. So, I don't know what I titled this video, but I guess recently I kind of decided that I wanted to just tell you guys already. I'm a bad kid. I've messed up. If you guys can't tell by my shirt, I vape. Okay, relax. I don't vape anymore. Kinda. Okay, for real. So, I wanted to let you guys in on this. I wanted to be transparent because, as you guys know, Quentin has come out as a vapor. Wasn't that sick? And he showed that he sometimes smokes cigars and he jewels and stuff like that in his videos. <laughs> And that is where these come in. He's just shown a little bit of it and I've even put it in some of my videos. I don't know if I need to put like a disclaimer or something. If so, here it is. So everyone knows that Quentin vapes and so they figured like, okay, you guys have been best friends since kindergarten, you hang out all the time, so you just vape all day and you just sit there and you don't vape, you never touch the vape. Like, if you use common sense, you're gonna know that I've smacked the vape. Like, I've puffed on the cloud maker. I have slapped the mod. I did cocaine. <laughs> I shouldn't be joking about this serious topic. Okay, so here's how it went. So when I was like 15, me and Quentin and Dylan were all friends. And also I told the burnt carpet story, which was that Quentin tried to vape in this room actually for the first time and he put the batteries in wrong and the thing exploded. That actually happened. That was the first time that we had ever tried vaping. I actually had never tried it at that point. And when his exploded, I was like, oh, I'm never getting one. Quentin didn't learn his lesson. He went and bought another vape and he was just doing it around me all the time. And Dylan did it as well. So I eventually I started doing it because whoever you're hanging around, whatever they're doing, you're most likely going to do it. Especially if you're a young kid like me and you're curious, you're like, why do people suck on the vape all day? Like, I gotta figure it out. So I had to try it and I was like, whatever, this is just kind of worthless, but it's something to do, I guess. I didn't think of it as harmless because I also didn't like research it and stuff. I don't know how harmless it is. Okay, I hadn't been out that long. I don't know. What it is. Hey, I'm telling a story. <gasps> Jake! Guess what I'm telling? My drug story. <laughs> I'm telling him how I vape. Used to. I started out with zero nicotine, so I wasn't getting addicted, and I hit it maybe like once a week if I even remembered that I had it. And then at 16, I had someone buy me some vape juice, and I got three milligrams of nicotine. If you don't know what that means, it means just a little bit of nicotine added. I was just like, whatever. Quentin does it. I'm doing it. So I started using nicotine, which was the dumbest fucking thing I could have ever done in my life. Because now I was getting myself in a position where I was going to have an addiction to it. Time went on, I was sucking on my mod. <sighs> And I was hitting it basically throughout the day. I had it in my car and I was blowing clouds and it was such an annoyance because every time I filmed a clip for YouTube, I had to hide it, put it somewhere, whatever. I wish I had old footage. I would show you guys all of us like hiding our vapes and be like, no, there's a vape in the corner and move it. Hey, you can have your shirt back. Oh shit. <laughs> so after vaping for like a year, the jewel came out. This was like a brand new thing and all I knew is that it had more nicotine. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Nicotine, worst thing it can do is give you a heart disease, sure. So I uh, started using this. It had way more nicotine than the vape I was using. So it just made me more addicted to it. And then right before I moved to California, I was probably going through a pod, pod and a half. Yeah, probably pod and a half every day, which is the nicotine equivalent to a pack of cigarettes in a day. Is that right? So, you like taking dirt bikes that don't belong to you, huh? Then here, have a whole carton of cigarettes. W what? Peter, that's not what this is about. See how you like them. Here, I'll even get you started. <coughs> Dad, I don't smoke. Sure, you don't now, but keep at it. You'll get the hang of it. By the end of that pack, you'll be smoking like a real pro. Like a cool kid. Yeah, that's it. Getting smoother, isn't it? I think I may want more cigarettes. Oh, I'll get you more cigarettes, but I'm pretty mad about my dirt bike. But then when I moved to California, you had to be 21 to buy pods, so I was just like, okay, I'll go back to vape. So I just bought a bunch of vape juice, we moved there, and I was back to using my little vape. Then I got off of the Jewel. By the way, check this out. Wait, wait. Whoa. You come back here, right? You sneak right back here. What is that? Yeah, my little vape mod was hiding back there. So I used this to quit the Jewel, and then at this point, I was like, okay, this is stupid. I'm spending money on this stupid crap. I have to worry about it every time I go on a trip, filling it up with juice, making sure it's charged, bringing batteries, bringing the charger. And then when I was on an airplane, all I wanted to do was hit it, so it was just annoying. So I tried to quit. I made a video saying this is my last vape hit ever. My last vape. I gotta stop vaping someday because I'm obviously not gonna vape when I have like kids and stuff. I'll keep you my dirty little secret.
There's bad airflow, but I don't know when I'm showing this. Right now, if you reach down here, slightly around here, you see my old vape. I'm not on that jewel grind. I thought this was better, but still giving me the old aches. I'm gonna have to find something to fill my time. I'm either gonna be chewing a bunch of gum or... Gum and books. <laughs> I bought a book today. And so I put it all in my closet and I told myself I was not going to touch it again. Well, turns out nicotine's addicting. I went to the gym, I worked out, I just tried to do anything to distract me from it. And then I got home and I had one of those horrible side pain attacks and I was just in horrible pain. And my diet had not changed. I think it was literally triggered from not vaping because my body was so used to the nicotine. And then going from puffing on this basically all day to nothing really screwed with my body. It was like I was out of my body. I couldn't concentrate on anything. I was like going crazy. I was kind of mad at myself, but I literally was sitting there in pain. So I went to my old jewel and I spanked it. That's right. I did but I only let myself spank it because I knew that I was going to be quitting it Just not so suddenly because it's really really hard to lean off if you have a sensitive body and you are addicted to something And you're watching this video. I recommend just don't stop cold turkey Just lean off of it as much as you can and that was only about a month ago So now leads us to present day. How am I doing? Have I quit? Am I still blowing clouds? What is going on? And the answer is I do still spank this There's a little hair on it <laughs> about twice a day three times a day Maybe because I'm still addicted to the nicotine, but I used to be hitting it all day. I've had this pod for like two weeks. It's still full. And I'm able to do this by using nicotine gum, which is a lot easier to bring when you're traveling. You just throw it in your mouth. My goal, I'll eventually hit this zero times a day. Then I'll chew like two of these a day. And then I'll get to one of these a day. And then I'll be like, I don't want to put in nicotine gum. Blech. So I've almost quit. I don't crave this nearly as much as I used to. And the moral of the story for you guys, if you're young, if no matter how old you are, vaping is the dumbest thing you could ever do. For one, it's going to take your money away. It's going to take your time away because you're gonna step outside to use it. You're gonna like hide yourself from your family and your friends to use it if they don't want you to use it. You're gonna be less involved in social situations. It might just lead you into a worse crowd. I don't know. There's just nothing good that can come from it. If you've never hit one, don't. There's no point. And if you have, and if you're addicted to it, definitely lean off of it. And that's really all I've got to say on the topic. Quentin's quitting too, BT dubs. We both went and bought nicotine gum together about a week ago. About a week ago. There's also some other things that I've maybe experienced and I want to be honest with you guys, but that is not gonna be going in this video. I'm saving it for the family podcast that's going to be coming soon. The podcast is basically just going to be us being completely honest, open, transparent, and give you guys insight into our lives and how we felt throughout our entire YouTube journey. The bad things that have happened to us, the great things that have happened to us, and we ain't holding anything back, fam. Raw XD. But we're gonna go ahead and end this video for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <sighs> By the way, if you couldn't tell, this clip right here... <laughs> uh, yeah, that was vape. That was not dry ice or whatever it was. That was a fat cloud, so there's the clip of me blowing a cloud if you ever wondered. Yeah, okay. Good night, fam.